I'm Dan Music. LiftMaster has a number of error codes that you can find on your board to help you diagnose the problem. I'm going to point out four of these because these probably cover 80 or 90 percent of the problems you might run into. If you see some different codes that uh, aren't on these four that I'm telling you about, just check the, uh, the manual that's online. Normally when the door is opening, you push the open control button. Notice here as the chain is turning to open the door, that the motor is turning the V-belt, which turns the clutch, goes through the sprockets inside, goes to the final drive shaft and turns that. I'm going to push the close button on here. I want to show you what happens if there is an obstruction. <clears throat> I'm going to put this vice grip on the clutch shaft. Put the vice grip on the clutch shaft. And then push the up button. And when I do that, notice when I have the vice grip on there, if I push the open button, starts to turn. Did you see the motor turning? The motor starts to turn, but the pulley doesn't turn. And if you look at the circuit board over here, where it says MAS, it's blinking twice. So this light will be flashing two times, and then there'll be a pause, flashes two times. This is an indication probably that the clutch is slipping. The clutch will slip for a no number of reasons. One of the more common reasons that the clutch slips is that you have a broken spring on the door. You can also have bent tracks. Somebody may have hit the door and it's damaged. There's something that is obstructing the door from allowing the opener to open the door. And you need to find out what that is. Reset this, you can just unplug it. Plug it back in. And then press mass, the mass button. You should hold it for five seconds. When it comes to troubleshooting error codes, a second common problem is when the door has had resistance, such as a bent track causing it to bind on the way down. It could be the door coming down and hitting something and then going back up. It could be the RPM sensor keeping the door from working. So it's in the open position right now. Right now, if we push the close button, it closes. I'm going to stop it, open it, this is the RPM sensor down here, if I remove that and then try to run it, Gotta close the door. Notice four flashes, four blinks. The four blinks tell you that the RPM sensor has been activated. In our demonstration, we'll reconnect the RPM sensor. You see the flashing? So I have, I have plugged the RPM sensor back in. To reset this, we show the power to the opener, start it back, and press the mass and hold it for five seconds. So that has cleared itself. Okay.
Another error code that you may get is with eight blinks. This would indicate that there's a brownout detected. If you're ever getting eight blinks, you need to check your voltages. We have a separate video where we show how to check the voltages. But this is a pretty common problem with uh, a lot of industrial parks, uh, buildings where the um, hot summer days, you got a lot of air conditioners running and the voltages drop. But I'm going to show you what happens when one of the wires goes into the eyes. It's either broken or the eye is bad. Some things happen and the eyes aren't aligned properly. A number of, number of things can happen. But to duplicate the problem, I'm going to go to the number nine on the terminal strip, remove the wire, and you see a flashing next to the LMEP. So to fix that, or if there's a broken wire and you fix the wire and you put the new wire in, you put that in there and the green light stops flashing.